Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Lao with Kenchan Crafts. So today I have a new pen video. If you watched my recent video on my Leonardo collection, I did discuss about how I have a tendency to be drawn towards teals and turquoise uh, and greens and blues for pens and a lot of my Leonardo collection is in that um, range of colors and this is no exception to that except that um, I had initially thought that this pen would look very similar to my very first Leonardo but it is a lot darker of a tone um, you know in general and um, in person it definitely shows a stark difference so I just bit the bullet with this one um, it is a little impulsive, but at the same time, uh, I did wait quite a while before I decided to go for it. So um, I've always loved the colors on a peacock feather, and this pen kind of embodies that. And I've, you know, since seeing people posting, you know, little videos and snippets, um, shorts here and there, it made me realize, wow, it really does look like a glowing, dazzling, shiny peacock feather, and. That is just so amazing. So I decided that I had to have it in my collection. <laughs> so here's the box. Let me just set that aside. And the box is, uh, I think this is almost the size of the Momento Zero Grande sizes. Well, actually, what am I saying? This is a Momento Zero Grande. Um, the Revival Copper Patina is um, what this Grande model uh, has for the resin pattern and copper patina um, was made by Taylor Pen Company with Micah Fines. They made the first, my first Leonardo pen and so you know I, I knew this one would be amazing at the um, but at the beginning I just didn't feel like I needed it but I think I prefer Taylor Pen Co and Micah finds his um, resins much more than Jonathan Brooks. <laughs> but I just find that these are just so much more dazzling to me. And I kind of am drawn more towards uh, their kind of resins. So without further ado, let's open and get to the pen. Okay, so I love the design on this outer sleeve. It's, you know, it's, it's simple, it's dark. Um, it's handsome. I like that. Most of my pens are kind of in a bright um, colorways. Uh, this is one of the darker ones, and I really like it. I mean, I have a lot of dark colored pens, but for Leonardo, I had a lot of light, um, bright ones. So, okay. And so this is a cardboard box. It's really, really nice. It's not too heavy. This one's not as heavy as my. Um, Leonardo Grande Mother of Pearl because that one had an ink bottle as well. All right, so here is the international guarantee or international um, warranty. And again, this, um, like most warranties, they sometimes don't have the stamp, which is fine. But do keep these in case your pens do need to be serviced or anything like that. Well, here is the pen. It's just a pen. That's all I wanted. <laughs> I don't care for the ink bottle. So let's take that out and get a closer look at it. This. I've already opened it a little bit and I'm in love with it. <laughs> so I will show it to you guys so that you guys can also be in love with me because it's such a beautiful pen. See if I can. I don't know if the camera is picking up this gorgeous chatoyance, but this is a darker pen. And so, do you see that? Like the the little hints of brown in this resin really makes this pen so unique from my other pens. It to me, I thought of this more like the you know a the earth, the globe, you know, like when you see from above, you see blue for the ocean, green for land, and then like browns for the mountains. <laughs> That's what I thought of when I um, initially looked at this pen. 
But as I finally got to see it in person, like the swirls right here remind me of a peacock feather and it's just beautiful. I absolutely love this. Like, now again, this is a darker colorway. Um, and like, I tend to like turquoise and teals. But in this resin, the dark blue actually is really pretty. Like, I'm not into, I'm not like a, you know, like the regular blues, like Compeki, Base State Blue, those kinds of blues I don't really care for. But I feel like this part of the blue resin is kind of like that color tone. And it works so well because it's a little translucent. This blue you can see through into the internal piston a little bit, but like not so much because it's such a dark blue. And so that translucency is so like dazzling. And then the copper and light greens and dark greens here on the cap has like the sparkly chatoyance to it. The blue has it too. It's all over. So that's why this pen is just so amazing. Um, and so most of Jonathan Brooks's um, resins have like two or three different swirls in them or in different colors. And like one of them will be kind of opaque. The other will be chatoyant. And so it's, you know, if you like that, that's that's what Jonathan Brooks, the one, at least the ones I have, um, that's how they are. This one is just chatoyant all over um, with this blue, which is a little less chatoyant and it's magnificent. It, it makes this green feel like it's glowing in the dark. It's just so cool. All right, well, enough of that turnaround. Let's take a look at the pen specs a little bit. It does have a, um, the ends do cone out, uh, as you can see here. And this is an internal piston, so you will use the knob at the end here. Uh, it has a ring to separate the barrel from the end knob. And the cap band here is the same one as my Momenta Zero. So the Grandes tend to either come in this cap band or they have the three ring bands. Um, and so either one is fine. I like this one more, but I like them both. And I did get it in gold because that was the only one available in um, the sizes that I want. It was either fine or broad. I decided to get the broad because I don't have a broad yet. Um, and so... It, uh, it writes broad, like a regular broad, but it's not terribly broad, so I, I like that. And again, the material of this body is just so smooth, and it feels a nice weight without any ink in it. So this is the steel version. I did not go for, I did not go for the um, gold one. Like, I, I didn't want to spend that amount of money on this, um, like, it's... If, if I have a choice to choose the steel over the gold, I will do that. Unless, like, I really, really have to have a soft, springy gold nib. But I don't really, really need that. And it is in the La Fenice um, nib design, which is their 2023 um, design for their Yovo nib. If you have their... Um, the ones without this La Fenice design, it is their 2022 Yovo nib design, which is still nice. Um, and I feel like, based on my experience, that the 2022 Yovo nibs are a little thicker and broader um, than these new La Fenice ones. All right, so yes, I was, about, I was trying to <laughs> twist it, but no, this is a, um, a grande and a internal piston filler. So it does not come with an ink window, which, you know, it would have been nice if they if this was the 2.0 version. Um, but the, the Grandes have an older Grande model and a Grande 
the 2.0 comes with a little ink window here um, because it's an internal piston they realized that people kind of like and want an, <laughs> an ink window because you can't really see how much ink is left because it's not a um, cartridge converter okay so and um, you know I initially wanted the silver rhodium trim one because um, I feel like it would have been really nice um, in to pair with this like cooler toned pen um, but like the gold is just fine too the gold nib is a little too gold I would love if Leonardo could do a two-toned nib <laughs> that might make it even more expensive but you know like it's, it would make it so, so nice to the eye to have a dual toned, two toned nib. Okay, so let's um, do a little writing. Uh, actually, let's, let's take a look at how this compares to other pens first. So here's the Leonardo Memento Zero Grande. Let me just zoom in a little bit here. All right. So the Grande, next to a Lamy All-Star, a um, vanishing, Pilot Vanishing Point, Sailor Pro Gear Slim, the Platinum Century 3776. Here is the Memento Zero Regular. You can see it's, it's a lot longer. <laughs> and then the uh, Leonardo Memento Zero Magico, which is slightly shorter as well. As you can see, the Grande sits super long. And then here it is unposted. So with these pens unposted, um, again, well, the Leonardo Memento Zero Grande would be the longest. The Pilot Vanishing Point doesn't <laughs> post or unpost, so it is just the longest when you um, write unposted and if we post these pens so when you post these pens the Leonardo's are very long but they post just as long as the Lamy All-Star I hate how the Lamy All-Star uh, is posted because it's such a long pen but it's a it's super light so it, like it doesn't make sense and it doesn't feel balanced um, the Grande doesn't require posting from what um, I experience, from what my experience is. I like to have it unposted because it's really long, um, naturally. Um, the Magico and the Momento Zeros, they post pretty nicely and are well balanced and they are just slightly shorter than the Grande. So that's the measurements there. And uh, if you watch my other video, you will also see the measurements for the weight um, of the Grande version um, compared to the rest of my Leonardo's. Here I have my beautiful like wintry icy blue um, diary journal here. I bought this from um, AliExpress and it was just the cover. <laughs> Actually it came with the notebook too um, and I was um, I didn't expect the notebook to come with it but the notebook is pretty nice. Um, and the cover is just so beautiful. I know it, it, it's a very f feminine looking um, diary journal, but it's so so nice. It's it's um, the the brighter journals that I have. All right. Okay, so this pen is a broad nib. I got it in a broad nib. Um, I spoke with um, Vanessa from, um, what's her ch YouTube channel? Uh, pen Gangsta. <laughs> I love her name. It's just just, just uh, so witty and silly and um, amazing. I love it. Uh, and I love her videos. You guys should check her out. Um, she does a lot of luxury pen videos and you know, all kinds of pens, actually. Um, <clears throat> and she also made such a great short on this pen. Um, I can only hope to, like, 
um, do half as good as her when I create my short for this pen because it's it deserves one. Um, but she got hers in abroad as well, and she, you know, expressed that the broad does write really broadly, and if I want, I could just buy the broad and then have it tone, uh, grounded down a little bit into, like, you know, a more specialty nib. So I'm thinking, like, a cursive italic medium might be um, interesting for this pen, because the broad is really broad, and I don't think I would write with the broad every day, so... I do want to be able to use this more often than just once a week. <laughs> um, but uh, dry writing. It's smooth, so that's good. And I did ink it up already uh, with one. I, I, I did a dip test and it was it was good as well. Yes, the perfect ink, I think, is Robert Arster Crystal Marine. This is a super well-behaving ink. It is a shimmer ink, <laughs> but I think that it would match this pen perfectly. So here is the swatch of the ink. I'm not sure if it's picking up really well, um, but it has this ocean oceanic green undertone um, with some blue shimmers and so um, and the blue is like this darker like uh, grayish blue tone um, but yeah the ink comes out green like a, a darker green but this is a broad nib so I think it'll really show off the properties of this ink um, <clears throat> it doesn't shade too much so we'll see so let's ink this up and then do a little writing test. All right, so I have, hopefully I have a good amount of ink in there. And then we will do a writing test. I'm just gonna post this for the moment. It's actually pretty well balanced. Um, well, not, it's not that well balanced. It is weighty towards the, towards the back uh, when you post it, so. Um, this pen is not to be posted for the most comfort. So tripod grip is is a it's a slightly a bit heavy. Um, quadrupod grip is really nice. So let's see. This is the Leonardo. Memento. Zero Grande, uh, Copper, Patina. This is super broad. I, wow. I mean, when I dip tested, it wasn't as broad, but this ink is also very wet. This is a very wet ink. Um, so if I want to use this ink in copper patina, my copper patina pen, I will definitely need to grind this down to a medium or even a fine. Broad. It writes so smoothly, it's gorgeous. So, this paper isn't like Tomoe River paper, it's very different, and so it doesn't really show off the properties that well. But, um, just to giving the so this pen does not flex, it is a steel nib, no give, no flex. And it writes, but it writes um, great on all side strokes or all strokes. All right, let's see the quick brown fox. Jumps over 
the lazy dog. Wow. Yeah, so I don't have a broad, so I bought a broad so I can trim it down to whatever um, nib I like, um, which I'm okay with. I think that if I had bought a fine, which is the only one left, I would have been limited with my options. So, but the broad is so nice. It's so smooth. It's way too broad for me to write anything on a daily basis, but uh, I absolutely love the body of this pen. Yeah. So, um, I think that is it. I did get, let me see, I got number 54 out of 90. So there were only 90 of the rose, or the gold trims and then 90 of the silver trims. Um, and this one, I think they still have some of these. So if you are interested in like a darker blue green colorway, this is absolutely gorgeous. So, um, yeah, so thank you so much for spending your time with me and, you know, unboxing and just kind of having a first look at my copper patina Leonardo Momento Zero Grande pen. Um, do look out for the short that I'll make. It will most likely have much better lighting than this. I just hate the lighting that I have with my current setup. I think I'm going to try and upgrade um, this lighting so that it will look better. Um, like I want to look at my pens in a much better lighting and I'm sure you guys would appreciate that too. So let me know down in the comments what you thought about this pen. Um, do you think it was, you know, a necessary <laughs> or not? <laughs> of course it wasn't necessary, but I now have this one in my collection with the rest of my Leonardo's and I just think that it's it's so different. It's darker. It's it's like a handsomer, darker version of my lighter, brighter pens um, in the Leonardo collection. So super, super happy with how this um, kind of meshes with the rest of my pens. <laughs> so yeah, if you enjoyed your time with me here, um, Please leave a like and comment down below. Um, you know any of your thoughts on this pen, um, your thoughts on Leonardo, um, and if you have Leonardo, what your experiences have been. And for all of those of you who are with me on my journey on uh, collecting Leonardos, using Leonardos, I am just so happy to, you know, hear all you guys' experience and uh, talk with you outside of these videos and it's just so much fun. So thank you so much for watching my videos and, you know, supporting me. So like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.